Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you a single loom version of my little ninja and um, he was one of the first um, charms, fi action figures that I ever made and at that stage I was doing things on an extended loom I, I preferred to get all the detail and everything that I like to put in my figures by using a larger loom well that's all very well if you've got more than one loom but if you don't have more than one loom it's sort of it's a bit restricting so we are going to be doing him on a single loom and the colours you're going to need are black, a couple of red for his bandana, some skin tone. You're going to need some white mini pony beads. And you're also going to need a couple of toothpicks. Um, these are going to be the uh, swords on his back. And I'm going to be colouring those in with a silver sharpie. So if you don't have a silver sharpie, that's okay. Um, I'm sure that they'll look just fine in a black sharpie or whatever. But this is what we're, this is how I'm going to be doing it and how you modify it um, with what you have. That's completely up to you. Now the first thing I'm going to do is chop the sharp ends of the um, toothpicks off. So I'm going to just hold that under a tissue so that it doesn't fly all over the place and I'm going to chop these sharp ends off we don't want anybody getting uh, hurt so let's do that if you're a kid I would suggest getting a grown-up to help you um, because I don't want you hurting yourself so let's just do this again there we go so I now have the sharp ends of my toothpick off. I'm going to colour these with my um, Sharpie and let those dry while we make our figure. So, and I'm sure black would look just as good. I just happen to have this You know what little girls are like with glitter. Mummy, mummy, get the silver sparkly one. Okay, so I'm going to touch up the end as well. I'm sorry if you see me with silver fingers, you know what I've been doing. <laughs> Let's do this one as well. Now, we don't call these Sharpies in Australia or in England. We, um, we call them felt tip pens or permanent markers. So if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, uh, they're a permanent marker or a felt tip pen. So there we are. That is, they're going to be my swords, and I'm going to let those sit over here, out the way, just to get nice and dry. So we're using, as I said, a single loom. It's going to be in the offset configuration. So columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. The open part of the peg is going to be facing towards you, um, or the arrow is facing towards you. We're going to be double banding. Double banding means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs together as if they were one. All right. And this is a really nice and simple design, which is very easy, and the kids the kids love it. Uh, I took these up to Izzy's Jiu Jitsu class and the, the kids were going bonkers. 
only thing to be mindful if you're giving them to little kids is that they do have sticks they have the, the toothpicks so please if you're making these for a little kid be mindful and you might need to take the little swords at the back away if you're giving it to a little kid now we're going to instead of doing a crossover band here I'm going to be putting two bands from here to here and I can see I've just gone on autopilot let's take this one off this middle one is the only time we end up using skin tone bands and I had to mess it up <laughs> there we go so put the skin tone band in here so now we're going to take two and go from one side to the other in a diagonal and from this side to this side in a diagonal we're also going to do that up here but we will be doing a bit of fancy footwork up here so uh, we'll address that in a minute I'm going to take a single red band and loop it once on my hook like that and I'm going to place that here this is going to flip forward as a bandana okay we're also going to do the same on these two here um, and I'll, I'll place it so that we don't forget it let's take these off quickly we'll place this band the thing is you see we have to um, we have to loop these down before we do those crossover ones so well, it's all clear as mud isn't it <laughs> alright so we'll do that like that we're going to do a black band take it and twist it once twice and three times to go across these pegs here and then I'm using my 2.75 crochet dude hook which fits these mini pony beads down really nicely I'm using white mini pony beads but you can use floss you can use a metal threader whatever you choose you can use bands white bands instead of beads it really doesn't matter it's up to you and they are going to be placed from one side to the other and then you're going to take the top part of the band and loop it up like that as I said we're going to be doing some fancy footwork around the face when we come to looping up because we want that to come down so um, a lot of this is just sort of in a holding spot so we don't um, forget anything three bands for the neck the neck is a weak area you don't want it to be Mr. Wibbly Wobbly Head and then we're going back to two bands for the shoulders the rest is all black two bands column one and column three you're going to do black pair bands all the way to the bottom of your loom and the same for the first column Again, down the center here next and then take two from here to here and two from here to here and put an uh, end cap here single band wrap it once and twice we're going to do some crossover bands, a single band, stretch it over these three pegs like a triangle. The next one we're going to stretch out and loop on itself in a figure eight. That's to give him a slimmer waist. These next two we're just going to do standard, so he's got a larger chest area. We're going to do his arms. Take a single black band, put through your hook, wrap once and twice and slide onto a pair of black bands. Now we use five pair of black bands for this. So that was number one, this is number two, three, four, 
four, five, same on the other side, so take a single for your end cap, wrap it once and twice, and now we do five pair. Here's our first one. One, two, three, four, five, and pop that on the end here. We're going to do shoes. So take two black bands, wrap once and twice, slide onto two black bands, reclaim the end, two black bands, wrap once and twice, move from your first set, the two here, up and over, so that the wrapped bands are in the middle and then we slide this onto two black bands. Slide them separately, slide the first two bands on, then slide the wrapped bands on, and then the last two bands on. Reclaim the end of your bands, angle it, and we pop that here on the end of his leg. Let's do the same for the other side, two black bands through your hook wrap once and twice, slide on to two black bands and reclaim the end, two black bands, wrap once, wrap twice, slide on, oh, move this up and over like that, I'm trying to teach you the easier way, take two black bands, we're going to slide all of this on but let's do it in parts, we'll do the first two bands, then we'll do the, the wrapped bands, and then we do the last two loops and reclaim the end, angle the foot and that gets popped just there like so. Alright, I think we're ready to start looping up so push the foot back and grab those two back black bands at the bottom. There we go, you can loop these up. Now because we're doing pants we want the continuity to work, so I'm going to dig down under that end cap before I loop up this bit of the thigh and do one side to one and I'm going to do the other side to the other and now I'm going to continue with my pants like that. That's so that the continuity of the legs continues and you don't look as if you've got uh, two bands coming across differently. Let's continue looping up to the torso. Push all of those bands back so that you're exposing those bottom two. So use the back of your hook and shove everything back to just expose those bottom two. And I have to say I do I never ever use plastic hooks anymore. I always just use the metal hooks. Plastic hooks break so easily um, that when my first plastic hook broke, I went out and bought a metal hook and I have never looked back. Um, you couldn't pay me enough money to use a plastic hook. I really don't like them. Looping in the arms so that we know that they're secure and then I loop in the chest to the neck. You have three bands to find at the neck so dig down and find all three. If it's tight give it a wiggle. Now from here we're going to take the top two and loop to the side and then the next two loop to the side. Okay. Now we're going to loop these two into the middle. Okay. So the top two they go into the middle like that. Then this middle one comes up. Alright, dig down, find these two side ones. Now this is where we're going to do our fancy footwork. Alright, first of all I'm going to get these two skin tone and loop them up to here. Alright, now 
I'm going to lift this one up and hold it out the way. Dig down from the two black bands and loop those up. Now I need to go under these bottom two black bands to grab the red band, move my hook around to the top of this peg and bring it forward like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put that back. Okay, we're going to do the same the other side. Take this one off. It can just stay there, you don't need to really hold it. Dig down and find the two black bands to loop up. Go under the bottom set of black bands, and grab the red bands and bring them forward as if you're doing a belt. Then we can put these back. Okay. Next what we're going to do is loop these in. So take the top two, just the top two, loop those to one side and loop these to the other side. I know it splays that out quite a bit but that's how we actually want it. Next you're going to take the center black bands and loop them up. We're going under the black bands that belong to this looped bit. So not these two here, but just those ones there. Push under those black bands to get the red and pull it forward like that. Okay. Next we're going to dig down and find these two bottom black bands and loop in and these two and loop in. Let's take two black bands push our hook down the center and out the side and pop our two black bands on drag it through and to the back side of this peg and reclaim the end of our bands the two closest to you up over and off and pull tight so now we're going to take him off the loom and I'm going to throw my metal hook around it's a standard metal hook and it doesn't have the cushioning on it so I use the base of it, the back of it, to help me ease this off the loom. Let's stretch this into shape, seeing as I left that one there. off the loom, stretch him out. I tend to pull the arms up and down so you know they're exposing the shoulders a bit. Now let's tweak his bandana a little bit and also his eyes. I want this So just gently push your hook through and move it how you want the uh, band to be. I want it sort of like that. I'm going to move the black loops that we tied off with to the back of his body by going through some of these existing bands here. I'm pretty secure that it's not going to go anywhere because it's got the slip knot there but I still really would like them sort of hidden so I kind of hide them behind like that. This is just so that you can see that his bandana is coming through like that. What I quite like to do as well is whichever side you choose, it really doesn't matter, pop a single red band through 
and tie a little slip knot like that so that it looks like a bandana like that and then for his eyes I'm going to use a black sharpie and I'm just going to draw his pupils in like so then what I'm going to do is take two red bands and you can use whatever color you want for his bandana and his uh, and his uh, weapon holding belts I guess um, so I'm putting one from this side to here and I'm going to stretch the other and do the same from the, uh, for the other side try and make it so that they're not too twisted they're going to sit like that on him and then I'm using my silver swords and I'm going to go through and I'm just going to pick one little loop black loop at the back okay I'm going to pick one black loop and as I go through the red like that I'm also going to have it secured by that little black loop so it's going through like this and there we have oops let's get that let's get that correct here we have our ninja with his fighting swords. I hope you enjoy making him. Take care. Bye-bye.